my name is Lee Cowlishaw and I'm here today to talk to you about what we've been focusing on from the supplier partnership perspective. As we prepare for the industry to reopen, we've been working with our members but also with our suppliers to understand what's changed. Obviously we know the landscape's changed but what we've been working on is how hotels and venues are going to welcome delegates and guests back through their doors when they do actually reopen. So this covers quite a few different angles from the flow of guests and delegates, check in, check out. Um, when people are actually arriving for a meeting, what that looks like in terms of registration. Food and beverage as well. How are we going to service delegates? The capacities of meeting rooms have obviously changed from the um, distancing that's been uh, applied. But also from a food and beverage outlet, what's on offer? And obviously this will be quite fluid and change as the social distancing changes uh, moving forward. But we want to be abreast of that. We've looked at our um, hotel programme and actually trying to understand what's performing well, what do we need to change and how can we work smarter moving forward to ensure that we have a best in class programme. The programme itself has a few more months to run, but actually what we're looking to do at the moment is evolve that programme right now. So that looks for the introduction of rate codes, but also looking at accreditation. Only last week, um, we actually um, endorsed the HBAA's uh, uh, accreditation for cleaning, which is working in partnership and collaboration to be able to provide processes that are accredited for post-COVID-19 standards. This is absolutely welcomed across the industry as a kickstart, but also for consumer confidence. Looking and working with partners in terms of what they're doing from taking temperatures of um, staff when they um, come on shift but also looking at actually what the protocols are moving forward. This for us is really important to be able to share back to our members, as I say, to help with consumer confidence. As we start to see more green shoots happening within the industry in terms of hotels reopening, um, looking at how meetings are starting to be redesigned um, and whether that's from a hybrid from virtual, but also looking at um, you know, continuing with the Zoom and what we've been doing, but also from the meeting room perspective, how could that actually be um, virtually delivered part and part? So part delegates in the meeting room and part de delegates uh, on a virtual basis. Obviously, content is absolutely key to be delivered. And when we talk about face to face meetings or shoulder to shoulder, how we're able to adapt that to be able to incorporate within the marketplace moving forward. Um, really looking at kind of how we can look at our hotel program has been really, really key for us. And not just that, but from our air perspective as well. Um, our hotel program, uh, we, we are due to relaunch that for January 2021. And what it's given us the opportunity is to take a real good step back. So uh, we've had two steering groups now, one from our members and also one from our suppliers, and bouncing ideas off of what's important to them what are the key areas that they would want to see moving forward? So COVID aside, obviously, we've already covered that, but actually moving forward in terms of looking at our top locations, how could we actually bring in more content? Where does that content come from? What actual other areas does it include? So when we talk about just the hotel program, moving forward, we're going to be broadening our shoulders of that program to incorporate other content to make it richer, but also to be able to really support what the traveller and guest wants. Um, and we feel that's a really, really important step forward, but also looking at how we can work with other commodities to plug in content to make that data even richer and that content even richer. You know, people have a choice and they will have a, a restricted choice moving forward of hotels and venues that they're going to stay in or to attend meetings in. And we need to make sure that the products that we offer and the programs that we design are encompassing of, of those needs and those requirements. And as we know, the market landscape is changing all the time at the moment. As, and as we um, move towards more of the recovery phase of this situation, it's a really great opportunity for us to get really behind the industry to understand how we can support them, but also how we can evolve our own propositions moving forward. With every hotel programme, you always look at the underpinning of the performance and what the key metrics are of, of that standardisation of programme. And what we need to do and make sure that we do on an ongoing basis is looking at the benchmarking, looking at making sure that the rates that we're obtaining are the best in the marketplace, but also that people have that choice. And that choice could be in terms of the terms. It can be on the rates itself, what's included, um, the cancellation policy. And obviously, flexibility is absolutely key at the moment and probably will be key for some time. 
So we're working on how we can deliberate that. Um, it's a really key, key time for us as a department and as a business. And, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to look at how we can drive more content for our members, but also how to make sure that our, our products and programs absolutely perform as, as we design them to do. Thanks very much.